I am so unbelievably excited to be playing this map. So if you couldn't tell from the loading screen, we're playing Terminus. If you're familiar with The Walking Dead, then you might know this from like season four or five, the uh, spoiler, but Cannibal Arc. Looks like we're playing as Rusman. Okay, let's go and buy that quick revive immediately. Oh, we've got the cans from Cold War as well. That's cool. And oh, that's a really sick custom perk icon. I actually had early access to this map, but unfortunately I had to go away for like six days. So didn't really feel like recording on my laptop because it would have been a bit meh and I didn't have my microphone with me. I'm not going to bring a sure SM7B on a three hour train journey, you know, but we've got some kind of origins soul box here. Okay. I totally haven't played this map a couple times just to like round three, but I had to restart the recording. Encoding has been really weird lately for me. I'm using all the right settings and I've been using the exact same settings as before. So I don't know if it's a map issue or a skill issue, maybe. I suppose that could be it, actually. I'm going to buy the M14. So yeah, I fine-tuned some stuff. It should completely fix now. But if it doesn't, I'm going to break something, man. In-game, obviously. But look at the attention to detail outside the map, though. Like, I'm pretty sure none of this is playable. But look at it all. It's so, it's so good. I love it. As always, a link to the map will be in the description below when it's actually available. Because currently, it's early access. So. I'm not sure when Broads is planning to release it, but they live in Australia, which is also why I couldn't play it early, sadly. And my aim is terrible right now. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna go for knife kills. I like the transit zombies because they really are similar to Walking Dead type zombies, I guess, because they're more modern. So we have a door here. What's up? How's it going? We've got some kind of a fuse here we can pick up. Don't know what that's for, but hello, Deadshot. So what I've heard is it's some kind of challenge map, which is interesting. I'm always up to a challenge. This is the equivalent of like the Black Ops 2 survival maps, which I, if you haven't seen any of my videos before talking about it, I absolutely love them. Like why did Black Ops 3 not have survival maps? And why did the rest of Black Ops 2 not have survival maps? In my mind, it doesn't make sense, but look at that custom drop icon as well. Anyway, pops some heads. wonder what we're going to get for filling up this soul box. Oh good, I can actually stand a little bit further away and kill them. Ah, I like that. Oh, it's done. Nice. So anything going to happen? No, it just vanished. <laughs> it vanished. Terminus. Oh, look at that view, dude. We actually have the Cold War Rampage Inducer. I'm not going to turn it on just because, eh, I mean, maybe when we're a bit more set up and not crashing the game, that would be nice. Let me know down in the comments section, what is your favorite show? Because mine is probably The Walking Dead, which is why I'm absolutely in love with these maps. But God, in the six days I was away, there was a lot of cool maps that I saw in the workshop that have released, and you already know I'm going to be playing all of them. One of them is actually a remake of or, or like some kind of homage to one of my favorite games ever, but no one will be able to guess it at all. Feel free to try in the comments, but I'm pretty sure you won't be able to. But anyway, door. So this is where my encoding messed up last time. Um, must just be the super high quality, I guess, but seems to be fine now. Good. Messing up my OCD. All right, we've got another soul box here. Still no more wall buys, which is a shame. Oh, never mind. There's one here. I was blind. The TMP. I, it's, it's probably full auto, so we'll go with that. So do these count if I'm all the way over here? No. Okay. Have to be a little bit closer. And apparently that didn't... What? They didn't count for it. The other one was glowing blue. Do I have to like... I either have to open this door first or it's like a special kill, like a melee kill. Oh, a shield part. Nice. Are there gunshots in the distance? Is it is it like actual Walking Dead? Are they just fighting right now? But yeah, I am right next to this and it's not filling up. So I'm going to try and get a melee kill. Let's, uh, here we go. Boom, boom. Double points. Nope, didn't work. But I, I did. I got some money. That's nice. So we'll open this. Is it going to work now? No. Still nothing. Oh, we've got another one of those fuse thingies over here that I... Hello, I can't pick it up. All right, fair enough. Hello, PhD. It's nice actually getting a double points during the round for once. All right, well, that's the round. Boom, we're done. Well, where are we going to head to next? Is there a door we can go in uh, somewhere? Got a Rafika on the wall. Not getting any really good guns yet on the wall. Oh, here we go. Debris. I'm in a garage. Cool. The Walking Dead has some really cool, like, locations for maps to take place in zombies, so I'm glad someone's actually utilizing it. And here is the power switch. Let's go. Hello, Electric Cherry, looking all snazzy. Look at that machine. Oh, God. I don't want to... <laughs> I always do this. I get too focused on um, trying to appreciate beauty and then I just almost die. What are you guys thinking of the new Walking Dead spin-off, by the way? I won't say what it is or which characters are in it because it would be a massive spoiler if you haven't seen the show. But I think it's my favorite so far. 
Oh, we've got a little uh, little shed in here. What is this? Oh, we've got a dog round, I think. I'm going to open up this door next because I'm, I would love to see the mystery box, which is over here. Ah, let's go. Perfect timing. All right, what we got in the box then? Looks like modern warfare, Cold War type guns. You're going to give me a Pellington? Why does the game always do this? It likes to troll me. Fine, I'll actually pick it up. I'll, I'll, I'll play your game. I'll snipe for a little bit. What do we get? A Desert Eagle. Okay, that's kind of sick. What's up, dog? How's it going? It's even got the little underbarrel flashlight as well, which is cool. Well, we found Jug. Oh, we've got a big area we can go to over here. What the hell? This map is a lot bigger than I thought. Terminus is like a giant facility, so I'm not sure what else I was expecting. The zombies spawn in there. Oh, that's cool. Because, yeah, they, they broke open before. Oh, we can actually fill this one up. Okay, nice. Something I can actually do. Let's go. Gonna also buy Jug. Gimme, gimme. I really love the, the Cold War cans. They're just such a cool aesthetic. Pew, pew. Oh, it's not even a one-shot. Come on, Deagle. How are you not a one-shot? You're like the most powerful pistol in COD history. Okay, it's, it's like a one-shot body shot. Pew. I'm missing every shot. Let's go. Let's see if we can uh, get a lineup. Collapse. Boom. Didn't didn't work. Okay, whatever. Box is done. Let's go. Making progress. Uh, What next? I'm going to scan for parts real quick because I imagine there'll be one here somewhere. Actually, scratch that. I don't think there is. Oh, never mind here. We can literally right by the door. Perfect. So another shield part down. We've got another soul box over here, which is apparently open. Double tap. Look at that. The double tap cold war machine. Whoever made this, whoever designed this, legend. Oh, another one of these fuse things that I just can't pick up. Okay. Ah, place fuse. Interesting. Can I only take them one at a time? Is that is that it? Oh my god, that was that was literally all it was. I hate my life, dude. <laughs> How did I, I... Anyway, I'm just glad it's not actually bugged. I'm just having a skill issue moment. So yeah, let's go and find the other fuses. Here's one. Then we just need one more, which I'm guessing logically is going to be in another room that we haven't opened yet. Like, is this a debris all the way over here? Because if it is, I imagine that might be it. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine, though. Three out of four done. I like it. I like simple pack-a-punch methods. Or oh, I'm assuming that's what this is going to be anyway, but... Pew. I would also like to buy double tap, but mm, you know, what do I want more? Double tap or opening that door? I guess double tap would make more sense, right? Oh, the sheriff car here. Throwback to Rick Grimes. Let's go. We got written on the wall. You don't have much time. MZC, a content creator. I wonder if I'm on the wall somewhere. Who knows? Pew, 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 a pew and a pew. Yeah, we should get this filled up pretty soon. I'm not going to lie, Desert Eagle is such a fun gun to use. I know it's not statistically the best because of the ammo count and stuff, but it's just fun, you know? That's what Zombies is all about. It's fun. While I was away, there was the whole... Uh, oh, there we go. Soul Box is done. But there was that whole drama in the Zombies community involving a couple content creators. Um, I'm not really going to talk about it much because we've kind of moved on. It slightly concerned me, but not really. Oh, I'm just going to screw it. I'm opening this door. We've definitely got the few around here somewhere. I don't remember this part of Terminus. Oh, here we go. Last fuse. Let's go. Soul box over here, which is already open. Mule kick. Hello. Trying to find the buildable bench because we have all the shield parts, assuming it is the transit shield. Oh, <gasps> ah, <laughs> there it is. Nice. Right on cue. Okay. All right. Let's fill this up. Bang, 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 bang. I love when I'm trying to do stuff and the zombies walk at the slowest speed. I'm not even waiting, bro. Should just go faster. All right, round 10. Let's make that zombie shield. Such an underrated but extremely useful way to keep yourself alive. You'd think, oh, I can see the zombies from the front. Why would I need to worry about behind me? Well, if you're not playing on incredibly high audio, then you're probably going to miss some zombies coming up from behind. Oh, hello. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, I'm not sure how many souls it takes. I want to say it's like 30 per each, so we should get this one done this round as well. Oh, a death machine. Perfect. That just makes it easy mode. And there we go. Done. This zombie died sitting up. Interesting. Okay, and I think that's it for debris. So I'm guessing now we'll go and put the fuse in, see what happens. I won't buy double tap just yet because potentially if we get something for this. Initialize the crane. Stand back. What? Stand back. Oh, crane. Ah, that's cool. Is that Pack-a-Punch up there? I'm gonna drop the... Oh, okay. Interesting. Open the crate. Hey, it is Pack-a-Punch. Let's go. What I expected, but that's neat. Now, I think we've done most of the soul boxes, so I'm gonna go and check if that one that was at the spawn is open now. The weird yellow one that just wouldn't take souls. Yeah, this one over here. What's up? Oh, reward. This is where I collect the reward from. I'm so dumb. Hello. Oh, whoa! Okay, a literal wonder waff for free. 
Okay, that is pretty sick. That is a godly reward. All right, well, let's get some waff action in here. Do we have any other rewards? No. <laughs> I'm not trying to be greedy. You know, I'm very happy with what we've got. Only downside to the waff is the lack of um, points that you get when using it, but still. The zappy mode. Let's go. It's pretty, it's a pretty sick Wonder Weapon. I'd say it's one of my top five. The all-time classic from back in World of War. What was really tragic about World of War is just the fact that so many things were bugged or just didn't work. Which is a shame because it's it's an iconic game, but I mean the Wonder Wolf could take your jug away. The ray gun would literally just one-shot you, which I think that was actually intended, but still. Is that a two? Is that some kind of an Easter egg? That little red two up there? I mean I don't know anywhere we could input that, but. If I know Broads, they would totally put in some kind of little thing like that, but I'm too smooth brain to know. <laughs> Alright, let's train them up. Zap! Just so good. Like, three shots and basically that entire round was just dust. Bang, and that's it. Okay, well, Pack-a-Punch time, I think. Ooh, dog round, what's up? Hello. Not gonna lie, the intro to season five of Walking Dead with the Terminus group was pretty brutal. One of the more gory uh, episodes, I think. I'm not a very squeamish person, but it's definitely difficult to look at the screen when stuff like that's happening. We got the PP2000. I think I'm okay. I'm actually gonna pack a punch the Desert Eagle because I wanna see what it's like, you know? Very iconic, very cool. Oh, it's dual wield and it has a sick ass red camo. That's so cool. Let's go in the dark where we can see this better. Oh, just, just look at that. It's all moving and stuff. That, that looks really cool. Are they like explosive? No, they're not. I was going to say that'd be a bit broken, but the law and order, which I like the name. I think, who used a deagle? Wasn't it the governor? I think anyway. I mean, my, my brain is a bit fried right now after the, uh, the long train journey and the cold weather. It's been gloomy and rainy. I mean, it's Britain, so it's kind of to be expected, but yeah, and also a week of not recording. I'm a bit shaky coming back always, but it's nice, you know? I get back in the rhythm of things pretty quick. Bang, 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 bang. Got some slight texture bugs over here with the uh, the crane. <laughs> Just seems to like de-render, but anyway. Go ahead and pick up that double A tape. Now we do actually have PhD on this map, so we could get an explosive weapon. Call me crazy, but I might save up for mule kick so we could just try out more guns. Now Broads is working on Alexandria, which if you are familiar with Walking Dead, that name slash location will mean a lot to you, but that map will be releasing in the next few months, I believe. And I really can't wait. It's going to be so sick. It's going to have an Easter egg and everything, I believe. So, and the gate works like the opening of the gate. Oh, it's just, it's just too cool. Makes me lose my mind. Now, we got that double points, which was really useful. Um, sucks that Mule Kick's so expensive, but whatever, we'll go and get it. I just realized we're on the opposite side of the map to where Mule Kick is, but it's fine. Oh, we ended the round. Perfect. All right, what we got going on over here? Where is Mule Kick? It's like tucked away in a corner somewhere. Ah, uh, here we go. What's up, bro? 4,000 points. You absolutely wrecking me, but it's fine. I kind of want to see if there's a perk limit. I hope there's not, because I would love to get all of them just to see what they look like, because it's a really cool custom icon down there. But yeah, now we have Mule Kick. So, what are we going to get? What have we got in the old boxy boo? We got monkeys. <laughs> the one time I want a gun and you're like, yeah, let's, let's, let's give him the fucking inanimate object. Oh, followed by a teddy bear. Brilliant. I mean, I can't complain because monkeys are very useful, of course, but still, it would have been nice to maybe get a, an actual weapon. Now we just hope and pray it spawns somewhere close to me. Oh, here we go. Literally right there. Perfect. I would love... Oh, the python. All right, I'll take it. We're just appreciating pistols today, apparently. If you haven't played some of Broads' other maps... Oh, by the way, mule kick. Green on the bottom left to show you which one's your mule kick weapon. Love that. But if you haven't seen the other maps, there's one called Internment, which is a remake of the prison from Walking Dead, and this python turns into a black hole gun, which I wish I was kidding. <laughs> like, it's so sick. Even just the sound effect of the python. Oh, that's so clean. So I kind of want to pack a punch it just to see if we get anything cool, but I imagine we won't. It looks like the Wonder Wolf's going to be the wonder weapon for this map. What we could do, why don't we turn on the rampage inducer? I feel like I'm definitely going to regret it, but let's just, let's get speed cola first. I almost, I thought that was a zombie. It's a plant, bro. All right, we can afford it now. Gimme, gimme. Oh, look, they're cooking the uh, totally not human meat. <laughs> oh boy. I kind of want Deadshot as well, to be honest, because it would be nice for hip firing on PC. Obviously, Deadshot's not going to do anything for you in terms of headshots and aiming if you don't have a controller, but 
it increases your hip fire or decreases the spread or something. Oh, hiccups, why? I love trying to talk and then my hiccups are just like, get effed, lol. Okay, well, it looks like there's no perk limit. I like that. Rampage Inducer, activate. I am, I'm, I'm gonna screw myself. What's, what's gonna happen? Pew, 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 pew. Insta kill, all right, that makes it easy. I love when the zombies just die somehow kneeling. Like, how how were you even able to do this? All right, bang, bang. Terminus was such a cool arc in The Walking Dead, though, because it was such a bait. Like, they were all expecting it to be a really safe place. And ironically, you know, they had to follow a train track to get there. But yeah, in The Walking Dead universe, if it seems too good to be true, it is. That just, that just be how it be. Let's get some zaps in. See, the Wonder Wolf makes it easy mode. I like it though. This is perfect. If you're a fan of just raw gameplay when it comes to zombies, like you just want to load up a map and kill a bunch of zombies, use a bunch of cool weapons, then this is the map for you, really. It's why I really love survival maps. And the reason it pisses me off with Treyarch is it would be so incredibly easy to just make survival maps out of existing maps. Why is that? Because you can literally use the pre-existing assets, like just lock off a, a section of the map like Town did. It's really not difficult and that's what annoys me because they just don't put any effort in. Now, I kind of want to keep these deagles so I'm not going to get that shotgun. Oh, that's fun. We got insta-kill, sure, no. We are incredibly rich now as well. So, what other perks do we need? I think it's literally just PhD and electric cherry, right? So, PhD slider, gimme gimme. I love that you even drink the perks faster. And gimme gimme. That was a cool custom can, because obviously electric cherry and PhD, well, PhD was, but electric cherry wasn't in Cold War. So, alrighty. Oh yes, pack a punch the python. Let's go and do that. All right, gimme gimme, pap time. King County Justice. Oh, that's cool. King County, because I want to say that's where The Walking Dead starts off, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. I remember it being mentioned in The Walking Dead quite a bit with like Morgan and Rick and stuff. So since the Python is Rick's go-to weapon, I would imagine it's something to do with that. Pew, 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 pew. I saw the latest update for MW3 Zombies or what they're planning to do and it's just so pathetic. I feel so bad for anyone who genuinely loves MW3 and they're like looking forward to updates because you guys are getting shafted. There's basically no new content at all. There's a, I think four schematics which is like a joke. <laughs> multiple months of development and they're like yeah four schematics that's enough no new map no new like bosses no new nothing this time it's just ugh, the bare minimum they can scrape by with and it's why i'm partially nervous for what's you know in the future cod 2024 zombies is going to be by treyarch of course but it has had four years of development so that makes me a little bit more hopeful, but it doesn't mean it's going to be good. Always keep an open mind, sadly, because God knows it's going to be a shit show, probably. Ooh, the foul turns into a burst gun. I like that. We have a fire sale. Why not? I mean, there's no viable ending or anything, so we're just kind of playing for funsies now. You know what would suck is if I somehow missed a really crucial, important, like, area of the map that you couldn't get to, which sadly, I think that might be the case, possibly. Um, what have we got going on over here? I didn't really look at this too much. Are there any debris? No? Just seems like the kind of place where there's more than meets the eye. Well, not that I'm seeing anyway, but... Oh, nuke. Sure. I don't normally go for nukes, but it, there's no reason to hold the zombies, so... I'm now caught up to... I think we've just started Season 9 of The Office, which is cool. Can binge through all that so quickly. I'm pretty sure... Binge through, like, the whole of Season 8, which is 24 episodes, by the way in about three days four days robert california as a character i kind of love him and also hate him because he's so like weird but he just has these strange monologues and i'm like why is this weirdly cathartic almost but anyway just kind of saying whatever comes to mind oh there goes my shield that's the beauty about commentary though i feel like a lot of people overcomplicate it literally just talk about the game and what you're enjoying in life and like what's going on you don't gotta overstress things like i'm not gonna script a video unless it's very specific for what i need oh yes let me just pull up a notepad of bullet points of talking points i'm gonna do throughout a, a random gameplay commentary you know just not really needed a few things on my mind though i'm thinking about 
out. Well, I still haven't done my 50 or 60k special yet. I, I'm sorry, but it's taken so long, actually, because I did genuinely plan on doing something for both. But because we hit them both back to back very quickly and just IRL stuff and the inability to do what I want to do, I'm, I don't want to hold it off too long because I don't want this to be like a Mr. T Lexify million subscriber special situation where he took like five years to do it. But to be fair, it was a pretty banger video when he dropped it, so definitely worth but yeah other things on my mind um i kind of would love to commission a custom map one day don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon but it's something that i would need to finalize the details on before i approach any map creators and i'm like hey i'd like this to be made plus i'm all about taking time there's no need to rush things all right let's zap some zombies <laughs> i just i Sometimes when I'm talking, I'll just run around in circles and not actually kill the zombies. Probably why I only get to like round 25 most videos. A lot of people are asking for longer ones. So, hey, maybe I'll just, uh, I'll just kill zombies and chat for a bit. I don't really see myself going down anytime soon. Haven't even pack a punch the Wonder Wolf yet. So, oh yeah, I'm thinking about my second channel. Uh, I haven't started it yet. I've made the channel, but I've not uploaded any videos to it. I'll show it on screen. It's also linked down below and on my channel if you'd like to go and subscribe already. Not needed, but you know, it, preparation for when I do eventually upload on that. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do there. I'm thinking horror games is kind of like my secret passion that I don't talk about much. Thing is, I don't really play them a lot. I just watch a lot of videos of horror games, but there are a lot that I'm very passionate about. I'm a massive FNAF fan. Uh, there are some very underrated games as well. I just, I would love to play and make videos on. And I feel like there's less of a stress when it comes to content on another channel because everything I upload on this one, obviously it's going to be 99% COD Zombies related, but I can't do anything too out there because I just know it will flop and not get any views. And I don't want that to be the driving force of my content because obviously like fun is the first priority. If I'm enjoying the content, then I'll keep doing it, you know? But it would be nice to just do some completely random things on games that I really like, but don't necessarily do well. It's also though like trying to figure out when I would be able to record and edit this and how often I would upload on that channel. Oh, we've got an AK-47. I'll actually take that. It is the Modern Warfare one though. Eh, screw it. I'll still pack a punch it. I just heavily prefer the like Black Ops AK. Yeah, I've got plenty of ideas for games and stuff I would record on that channel. I still kind of need to come up with a name. It's currently just called FP, which I like, but is that going to be good for search recognition for, for YouTube and stuff? Probably not because it's a two-letter name. Also, his AK is kind of booty butt cheeks, you know? It's 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 barely killing, considering we have double tap and everything. Like, it ain't bad, but it's not great. Oh, now we have an insta-kill. Now it's good. <laughs> also, yeah, there's a rampage inducer. I mean, it's definitely speeding up the zombie spawns, which I love. It's not exactly making it too difficult, though, which is nice. Uh, let's spin up the box one more time, see what else we can get. Maybe a shotgun or something would be cool, or a USP. Okay, maybe, maybe one more spin. A tundra? Okay, maybe another spin. Although it is actually a one-shot, which is cool. The Rafika- Bro, can I- can I get something half decent here, please? These guns would be alright if they had the Cold War, like, upgrade system, but, ugh. Teddy bear. Oh, since I don't mention it super often, I have it on screen, like, during the first couple minutes of the videos that I upload, but I do actually have a Discord server. If you'd like to join, if you're a fan of zombies, or if you just want to chat in general, then feel free to join. Anyone is welcome. Just obviously no toxicity. It's pretty cool, actually. We've got, I think, 1,200 members now on the Discord, which is just nuts to me. Pretty sure it's gone up by about 750 in the last three or so months, which is just mad. We're going to be starting some events, like community events and things like that. I don't know the nitty gritty, but just something to, to keep the fans, you know, occupied. We're currently doing like question of the day, things like that, where we've got guessing the map from screenshots, which is cool. Most of the time, I can't kind of get a general idea, but I'm usually wrong because I overthink it. The curse of being an overthinker, sadly. I'm really excited to see more Noah J contest maps come out because the contest right now is essentially anything video game related. So you, the challenge is to make a zombies map based on a game. And there are a lot of iconic games I'm already seeing getting made into zombies maps. One of them is, I mentioned it at the start of the video, but my one of my favorite games, and I'm going to be recording that probably immediately after this or tomorrow. It's currently Thursday when I'm recording this, so. All right, couple zaps and oh, my Wonder Warp is actually out of ammo. Well, let's go and pack a punch it now. 
Oh, look, I can slide backwards. Huge! I love the Black Ops 3 movement system. I really hope that we get some form of remaster of Black Ops 3 in a future game. Even if it's just like one map. Ooh, we got like the, the blue and white camo. This reminds me of the one from the office map. Kind of like the Tag the Toten Pack-a-Punch camo, I think. Where's this last dog? There we go. All oh, the boxes over here now. Hello. What are we going to get? I don't, I don't want this Rafika. I've just kind of been sitting on it. The Deagle again, I've already used. Come on, game. Come on, game. I'd love a P90 or an M4. Pretty, please? Anything? A, G a Glock. All right, I'll take it. You know, screw it. Why not? I'm going to throw a monkey so I can actually uh, pick this up. Dual wield Glocks. Hornet and Wasp. And it's a fucking loud gun. Jesus. Ooh, we've got some crawlers. My shield just broke. We've got a double points. Oh, my ears. Oh, oh God. I'm actually going to... Almost downing there. Honestly, I don't usually care for the modern warfare guns at all. But just the fact that The Walking Dead uses a lot of them in the show, it kind of makes me appreciate them slightly more. It's not that they're bad or anything, it's just I don't really care much for modern warfare in general. It's just not my call of duty, really. Also, these fires so fast, we're already out. That's mad. <laughs> Nice, good job me. I know people are quoting me when I say that now. I I look in the comments and it's either tragic, good job me, or pew pew pew. Who knows, maybe I'll get one of those put on a shirt. Oh, we got the Krig, finally. Something a bit different, like an assault rifle. Okay, let's throw another monkey bomb. It's invisible. What was that? Here we go, the Blitz Krig got this ugh, ugly, ugly sight on it, but whatever. Seems to be doing some damage. I'm just going to get the nuke. Oh, God. Crawler's sandwiching me. Oh, look at the zombies spawning. We got... I thought we were near the end of the round, but I guess we are on round 26 now. Oh, we got literally one crawler left. All right, there we go. Well, I think that's going to pretty much do it for today's video. I could keep blabbing for a bit, but my voice is also kind of dry a little bit. So yeah, it's a pretty small survival map, but it's very fun. I would highly suggest checking this out. Once it releases, I will update the description as well so that you can download it for yourself. But it's going to be called Terminus. It's by It's Broads. Be sure to check out some of their other maps as well, because they're highly underrated as a map creator. It's nice they're finally getting some... Uh, recognition like in conjurer's latest video and stuff on the new custom zombies maps that will be releasing but yeah thank you all so much for watching if you've enjoyed please leave a like subscribe if you're new check out this video on screen youtube says you might like it and i will see you in the next video very soon